All right. What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? How is it going? I am Is There No One Else? And today's video, uh, we're going to talk about something that's been discussed multiple times, but due to relevant, pertinent uh, things that have happened in the last couple days, we're going to bring it up again and we're going to talk about animation canceling. Now, a lot of people know how to do this. This is apparently a very taboo thing to discuss. It has been around since the beginning of the game. It is not an exploit. The... Uh, the developers have come out and said it's not an exploit. Even if you look at the what Gilliam the Rogue said, he said that animation canceling slash weaving, weaving's another term of it, uh, is a, an aspect of the game. And it's, it's part of what makes this game exciting, and I agree. But for whatever reason, there's just this negative connotation about it, and it doesn't make much sense. I, uh, I posted a video on my channel a couple days ago, and I had somebody comment, and they said, do I really need to be working towards this game to be practicing on how to animation cancel? It's a game. When does a game stop becoming a game and when does it become a job? And I understand that point of view, but animation canceling isn't that difficult. And I'm going to go through a few of them for you guys and I want to show you a couple of skills in my bar. So first skill I have is Mirage. So that's the full animation when I cast Mirage. It gives me an armor buff and it gives me major major evasion. So that's the full animation. You can animation cancel Mirage in a few different ways. You can weapon swap cancel. And all it is doing is you're just eliminating part of the animation to get to your front bar a little bit quicker. So this is the full animation once again. This is it weapon swapped. I still get the full cast. You can see the debuff or the buff of my bar. So I got 25 seconds. If I cast it again, 25 seconds, and it just cuts the animation and allows me to go to the front bar. If we look at our front bar, I have Rally. That's the full animation for Rally. If I weapon swap, cancel it, it looks like that. So all you do is you hit the skill, weapon swap. It doesn't matter what skill it is, you can weapon swap just about anything. As long as it doesn't have a cast time or a channeled ability, you can, you can weapon swap it. So there's my leeching strikes. So full animation for leeching strikes looks like this. This plus weapon swap, it just makes it quicker and it allows you to get to the front. Uh, you have our spectral bow right here. This is the full animation. If we weapon swap cancel it, it looks like that. And so it's just a way to speed up the animations. It's not hard to do. And, and, and no, you don't have to sit around and practice it. I mean, you can if you want to. If you want to work on your weapon swap cancels, you can absolutely do that. But when I was starting out, when I was new to the game, I would just do it in between like trips through a dungeon, right? So if you're going from, um, if you're going from like different groups of ads to different groups of ads, just work on your different weapon swaps and just go through all your skills and just just practice weapon swapping and animation canceling via weapon swap. And it's it's not hard to do. You just do it while you're doing whatever you're doing. So whether you're you know, in Somerset, like I am doing your writs or you're in a dungeon, like you're going to have downtime between each thing. If you're going to do your writ surveys, for instance, you know, like instead of riding on horseback the whole way there, maybe ride part of the way there and practice your cancels. And so just just practice your it, it's not hard. It doesn't take up any more time if you don't want it to and you can figure it out. That's just one cancel that exists in the game. Uh, one of the other ones that exists and it's not nearly as uh smooth looking as it used to be is block canceling and so it's the same thing so instead of weapon swap canceling you're gonna you're gonna change it with block and so if we got the full animation of leeching strikes block canceling looks like this and so it's just a little bit quicker and so you're changing the animation the full animation to block and just cutting it short a lot of people use block canceling because tapping block allows you to avoid a bunch of incoming damage. Really depends on the type of build you're using. Uh, but once again, like some skills are a little bit more clunky and so they don't look as good, like like Mirage there. Like I can't get a better, I, I do that whole part of that animation. If I do Vigor, that's the full Vigor animation. If I block, it looks like that. And so it's the same thing. Like if you wanna go do, do a dungeon, you can, Practice block canceling. It's just skill plus block. Skill plus block. Not not difficult at all. And once again, it doesn't take away from anything else you want to do. Um, weaving is a form of light attack canceling. And so if I were to hit this guard here, and we'll do it for fun, 
Uh, a light attack looks like this. It's just a light attack. If I do a light attack and a surprise attack, it looks like that. If I weave, hold on, it looks like that. And so literally I'm just cutting the animation short and you can throw a bash in there at the end. I'm going to I'm gonna run away. I'm going to do the Cyrodiil tried and true method of running away from somebody that can kill me. Um, <laughs> but, but it's not hard to animation cancel or weave. And so weaving is just cutting the light attack short with a skill or ability. You can do it with anything. And, and I'll show that to you here once we get away from this this guard that's trying to kill us. But you can light attack weave like your your uh, your leeching strikes. So if I light attack here, it's just the full animation looks like that. I'm just cutting the animation short. And so the full animation of light attack looks like that. Light attack with leeching looks like that, where I'm just cutting the animation of the light attack short. Now you can string it all together and you could do light attack, this, and block. And it, it cuts everything short. Or you could do light attack, vigor, weapon swap. Um, it It's not hard to block cancel and it's not hard to weave. Now once again, if I show you again, light attack looks like this. Light attack, surprise attack looks like that with the full animation. Now if we combine it all together and we do a light attack, surprise attack, bash, it'll look like this. It'll look like that. And so you're cutting the animation of the light attack short with a surprise attack, and you're cutting the surprise attack animation short with a bash. And the bash also adds a little bit of extra DPS to your full combination. So if we come in here and we'd, we go like that, you see we get multiple different damage numbers, all because it's the enchant, the light attack, the surprise attack, and the bash. Now you can practice this anywhere. Like if you're in an easy normal dungeon and you're out there trying to get keys, you can practice your light attack weaving. You can do it with a staff, you can do it with a sword and board, you can do it with a 2H, you can do it with dual wield. It doesn't matter. You can light attack weave with, with literally anything in the game. And so now already in this quick video, we have, I've shown you weapon swap canceling. I've shown you block canceling. I've shown you light attack canceling or weaving. And we have at least one more, which is dodge roll canceling. And so dodge roll canceling is just canceling the animation with a dodge roll. And so vigor looks like this. If I want a vigor dodge roll, it looks like that. And so I'm cutting the animation of vigor with a dodge roll. And so it's just while you're in this animation, this vigor animation, you just hit dodge roll. You hit dodge roll early. You don't wait for the you don't wait for the skill to go to finish before you do your skill. You just activate the next skill. And so you can do this in a multitude of different ways on any class in the game. You can practice anywhere. You can do it while on your way to do your writs. You can do it on the way to do your surveys. You can do it in trials. You can do it in dungeons. You can go to your house and you can just practice on a test dummy if you want to. And so this is the, the big issue that apparently everybody has a problem with. That is a manipulation of the game according to... Um, the article that was posted yesterday it just it doesn't make any sense because it's so so easy like and, and I say it's easy because I've been playing the game for seven years but all it takes is a little bit of practice and you get it down and so you can block cancel your animation too for a spec bow so if we do a full proc for spec bow Full animation looks like that. If we do it again and we block cancel it. Oh no, I killed him. I done killed him. So I can block cancel like that and it just makes the animation disappear. And so it's a way to speed up the process of different abilities. You can do, you can animation cancel your surprise attack with a dodge roll you can animation cancel your weapon swap or your leeching strikes with the dodge roll you can weapons you can do your mirage with the dodge roll you can block cancel all this you can combo a bunch of different things together uh to get these different cancels and it's just a way to speed up the process and do increase your dps now like i said some people sit out here and they're like and they complain about canceling and how it's cheating but as i said before 
the developers have said multiple times that it is not cheating. Feel free to look up and find information from a developer saying that it's cheating because you can't. But I can find information from a developer saying that it is an unintended thing that exists in the game. They weren't expecting it, uh, but they build around it. Their highest DPS parses, how they build dungeons, how they build top end trials. They look for the top end of what can be done and they build DPS burns around what the top end of parses can be via light attack weaving and all these other weapon swap cancels and, and stuff like that. So you can do what you want. You can put your tinfoil hat on and you can complain about this stuff and cry about it and say that it's cheating even though it's not and you have no proof. Or you can practice it. And I'm not saying you're going to be... I mean, some of you, when you see this, you're going to be better than me at it. Some of you will never get this good, and that's okay. That's that's more than okay. We're all different people. But it will make you a better you if you can figure some of this out. It'll make you a better player in the game. And it really isn't anything extra that you have to do. Whatever, like I, I've said it three times now, I'm going to say it one more Whatever content you want to do and you want to enjoy, you can do it in that content. You can do it from each thing. There's nothing stopping you. You don't have to set aside time to practice. It's not like going to work out, even though some of you are like, you should be working out. But it's not like that. It's just in a game. And so if I'm running around and I'm looking for Ritz and I want to practice weapon swap cancels, I can do that. If I want to dodge roll cancel, I can do that. If I want to cloak cancel, I can do that. If I want to rally weapon swap cancel, I can do that. It's it's not hard. And so we need to stop having this ridiculous stigma about what weapon swap canceling is and how it's a quote unquote manipulation because it's not. It's been part of the game for freaking eight years now. If they wanted to adjust it, if they wanted to say it was cheating and they wanted to ban people for doing it, it would be really easy to find people doing it and banning them, but they don't because it's a part of the game. So I'm going to hop off my soapbox. If you guys have any questions or comments, please provide in the section below. I will also provide a link to Lefty Lucy's original weapon swap canceling video uh, from like seven or eight years ago. It's a very good resource. It's the, one of the first ones that I watched myself much better than this video. This is just like a brief tutorial explaining how I kind of did it. Uh, but if you want to go back and you want to look at information, a lot of his information still applies to this day. And yeah, that's going to be in this video. If you guys have any questions or comments, please provide it in the section below. As always, guys, thank you for watching. Have a nice day.